So I'm going to be looking at the method of Frobenius, which comes up in most exam papers. And the questions seem to look the same. So method of Frobenius. And they usually say use the method of Frobenius to show that that one solution of the Bessel equation of order EQN of order one third for this and you'll get something that looks like this so x squared y double dash plus x y dash plus open brackets x squared minus one ninth close brackets y equals zero and you want to show that it is equal to, so one of the solutions is equal to, y1 is equal to, and in this case we're trying to show that it's x to the minus the third, then open it up, we've got 1 plus the summation with n equals 1, that's where we start all the way to infinity of dun dun, 2 times 5 times by dot 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 times by 3n minus 1, and on top of that fraction we'll just put minus 3x squared divided by 4 all to the n. So your answer will be split up into three parts normally and your first bit will be showing what this is, so the x to the minus the third, and it's pretty easy. So you say let y equal x push my paper up, y equals x to the m and then you follow it through differentiating, so y dash equals m x to the m minus 1. And then y double dash, that's twice differentiated, goes to m, open up m minus 1, because we pulled this down there, x to the m minus 2. And you're going to put these three into the bit that they've given you, so the bit that I'm starring now, that one. So you put that in. And you'll get m, pull the paper up, open m minus 1, x to the m minus 2, x squared. So I've taken the y double dash and put that in front of the x squared, plus m, m minus 1, x to the 1, plus x squared minus 1 over 9, to the m, and that's all equal to zero. So you can see that is just what we had before, but we've replaced the y's. And if you narrow that down, you'll get m, open m minus one, plus m, plus minus one over nine, which will give you a quadratic of m squared minus one ninth is equal to zero, I suppose it's equal to zero as well, which will give you a solution of either plus or minus 1 over 3, which you can see is the power they gave you in the solution up here. So that's your first bit done and that will get you some marks. Then what you need to move on to do is to take your y of x, now is equal to x to the m, and then what the summation is, so in this case a0 plus a1x plus dot dot dot, plus the generic case which is a n x to the n and that continues we don't stop it there so plus dot 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 and close it off. If we pull in the x to the m from outside the brackets to inside we get x to the m sorry a0 x to the m plus a1 x to the m plus 1 because you've got two lots of x to the m plus the 1 Continue on with that, and then give yourself the generic case. So in this one, a n x to the m plus n. Keep going with it, and then close the brackets. We need to look at what you're originally given. So if I flip over, we've got x squared. So we'll take x squared of y and that'll give us a0x the m plus 2 plus 
a 1x to the m plus 3, plus dot, 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 and then the generic case, which is a to the n, x, n plus m plus 2. Which, if we look at it, we're going to take away the 2 from the power, so this one here, and we'll need to take away 2 from this bit down here, beneath the a, so a n minus 2, x, n plus m is what we turn into, so those are the same. Then we'll do x, y dash. So we're going to take the differential of this one, and then times it by x. So it's like what we did with the x squared, but just with x. Which will give us m a to the 0 x m plus m plus 1 a 1 x m plus 1 plus dot 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 and then our generic case um, in this case I'll just write it below so you can see it a bit better is m plus n a n x m plus n dot 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 we'll then do x squared y double dash, so this is using the same methods as before, so m open m minus 1 a 0 x m plus m open m plus 1 a to the 1 x m plus 1 and the generic case for this one will be open brackets m plus n m plus n plus 1 a n x m plus n. So when we look at what our x or the generic cases is for each of these, and we look at our original, we can say that x m is equal to m open m minus one a zero plus m a zero minus one minus equals zero. And if we say that x m plus n, we're just going to replace all of the m's with m plus n. So in this case we'd have m plus n, then m plus n minus 1, a 0, plus m plus n, a 0 minus, dun, 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 sorry, plus a n over 9, a n minus 2 equals zero, which goes to, if I just move the paper up a little bit more, m plus n, m plus n minus 1, minus 1 over 9, an, getting your brackets right, and we're going to say that's all equal to minus an minus 2, so that's just a manipulation of this stuff above. So to get to the answer you need a little bit more work. We need dun, 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 to go through and say a to the n is equal to minus 9 a n minus 2 all over the top of 9 m plus n m plus n minus 1 and we can pull that down to this one here which is just over the top of 9 m plus n squared minus 1. So we go back to what we were given at the start and what we know that m should be equal to 1 third and we replace all of our m's with a third so a n is equal to minus 9 a n minus 2 all over the top of 3 n minus 1 3 n minus 1 and then minus 1 outside the brackets, which is equal to minus 9 a n minus 2 all over the top of 9 n squared minus 6 n, which is equal to 3 a n minus 2 all over the top of 3 n minus 2 with n outside the brackets. So, if we replace all of our n's that we can see here with 2 n, we'll get a 2n is equal to minus 3a 2n minus 2 
all over the top of 4n, 3n minus 1, which will give us minus 3 over 4, all over the top of n, 3n minus 1, a, 2n minus 2. So the solution, the solution is y1 of x is equal to x to the minus a third, which we found at the start. Then our 1, because we started at n equals 1 for the summation, so we miss out the first one. Make sure you can see that quite right. n equals 1. And then we've got minus 3 over 4 to the n. x to n all over the top of n. 3n minus 1. 3n minus 4. Dot, dot, dot. Keep going. 5 times by 2 in the end. And that would be your solution.